Well, as my daughter's got into this video malarkey, I thought I'd do a video of making or doing the wine glasses with glitter. Um, as you can see, I've made some glasses up already. So now it's just a matter of clean and tidy the glasses off. These are grape with the vanilla top so it's grape all the way down with a vanilla top on it so I just shine up the glasses make sure there's no wax on the outside and then I proceed to put some nice little modge podge on the outside of the glass where I want to place the glitter Normally I just do the stems, but if people want names put in on or if they want a design on the glass in glitter, I'm sure I can accommodate. It all goes on your preference, on what you would like. But today I'm just glittering these up at the stem so they're ready for the weekend. Normally I put about two layers on, so I give them a good couple hours to dry in between each layer. Um, and that then gives it a good covering. And then I just dust off the glass with a paintbrush. Um, normally a big one, like this. Just to get the excess glitter off. Um, and make sure that there's no glitter coming off at the end and also check for gaps so that I've covered the whole area um, as you can see I've now covered the whole glass in Mod Podge and this one I'm going to do in purple to match the grape colour I have done some in red and I'll be doing some in black later on which will be these, which is like a, a black with a coffee, then an orange and a cream top. Um, again, all different fragrances going through. The red ones have actually marbled, which is a nice look. People might not like it, but I, I quite like it. Basically, what's happened there is I put too much scent in the wax, um, and it's actually what they call bloomed um, when I've made them up. So as you can see, I just gently turn the glass around, add the glitter, make sure I give it a good coating, um, and then these are once once I finish these, these will be ready for sale, and I sell them around five pound. I do sort of wrap them and put a bit of ribbon on them as well to give them a good. You know, make them look nice for yourself or for your partners or wives. There you go. So that's the glitter on. As you can see, the glitter's coming off the glass on the bottom. This is where I'll need to dust off later on once the uh, Mod Podge is dried and we have a glittered glass. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon at either an event or in the shop. Bye.